So today we're going to talk about celebrating victories, all right? Celebrate the victories. So over the weekend, um, we had our in-school tournament, like a little talent showcase for our students. Um, and a lot of our kids were super extremely nervous about participating in this event. Um, partly because they had to kind of come out and perform on their own. You know, some of the times when we do things in class, uh, we do them as groups or we do them as uh, smaller groups. And the, the kids are not really like kind of by themselves doing it. So uh, when it came time for our event, this was something they had to do pretty much by themselves. And what's great about martial arts competition, I, I, I kind of parallel it to like a gymnastics competition or like a tennis competition or competitions of that nature, because it is just you. You are the individual person going out ready to perform. And you have to perform in your forms, you have to perform in your fighting, and you don't have the teammates or teams uh, around you, the team, that is going to either pick you up or not do their part and then you're trying really hard to, to help get things where they want to be. Um, this is strictly individual. And what I liked about this was that it gave all of our students that participated the opportunity, one, to get over their fear of public speaking. Um, when they had to come up, they had a, ser a certain set of uh, words uh, before they actually did their performance. And that's really important for kids to be able to understand how to um, speak out uh, when when they're out in, fr in public and speak in front of people. And for them to be able to do this, which was a great opportunity for them, I had a lot of my students that were really, really nervous about this. A couple kids really break down, not feel like they can do it. Um, and we actually were able to get them through it and they were able to get out and do it. Um, and then in the forms part, same thing, uh, the, spar the sparring part of the event, it was the same concept where they had to compete against each other. Now they're all buddies and friends, but they had to compete against each other to see who was gonna be the best on that day. Um, and we had some kids that were really successful, some kids that weren't successful. But what I wanna talk about is the level of the victory. I wanna talk about the level of victory that all these guys were able to achieve. So even if they did not take first place in this event, the ones that got out there and put themselves out on the line and put themselves out in front of other people and put themselves in an uncomfortable environment, those are all victories for them. So I know sometimes kids get wrapped up into what place they got or what, what medals they got and things of that nature, but if we can really hone in on them and tell them just the, the, the ability to get out there and actually do it was the very first victory that they have, they were able to accomplish. And everything else just comes from you know their preparation and what they're able to do to prepare for the event and things of that nature. But getting out there, being able to say their name, say their presentation, uh, do their form, go and compete and compete against their peers and their friends, this is all setting them up for later in life, right? So just think about as an adult, as we go through life, one of the biggest fears that adults face is speaking in public. What if we can establish this type of, this type of confidence in our kids being able to speak uh, in front of people and speak out, uh, out loud and perform out loud in front of people, how much would that help them as they go into their adult years? I think it's going to help them tremendously. How many of us as, as adults, sometimes we find ourselves that we don't do things that we're afraid we're not going to be successful at? I'll let that sink for a little bit. We don't do things that we're afraid we won't be successful at. I believe that we, we don't know how successful we can be until we actually put ourselves in that position or in that, that space, right? So that being said, if there's something I'm afraid of something or I'm a, I have a fear, how long do you want to be afraid? How long do you want to be afraid of that fear of helping you see what you need to do to get you to that next level, but you still have that fear? How long are you going to allow that fear to affect you to not get you to where you want to be? Again, I, I just use this as an example for us as adults because there's probably a lot of opportunities, a lot of things that we probably could have accomplished that we don't do because of our, our fear of whether it be fear of rejection, fear of not winning, fear of not being successful, all these things that may come from that. But if we put ourselves out there, whether we reach our goal or not, every step that we took, we took a further step than what we were before. And that's something I want you to think about. That's where we talk about the small victories. Increasing our small victories to get us to our big victories is what's going to give us the, the most level of success. Because what happens in small victories is that I don't get it right away. I have to keep finding a way to get to that point that I want to get to. And that's where I'll see this, the, the, the grand and, the, and the, the, the appreciate the grand gesture of my, my victory that I'm able to achieve. Now, if you're a person, if one of my students, uh, we have some outstanding students, we have some students that kind of going in, we knew they were going to win their division. We just knew it because that's just how they are, right? Um, but that being said, even as a person that, that that sees victory all the time. What you need to do is you need to sit back and kind of think about what are the steps that you took to get there. Uh, I used to play this game, I talked about this in my last video when I kind of cut out. I used to play a game called Mortal Kombat. And in Mortal Kombat, you, you, you hit a bunch of buttons, and if you hit the guy, then you just keep hitting him, pow, 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 you hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, all of a sudden now you get what's called a flawless victory. Imagine how awesome it is to have a victory that's just 
flawless. That means you made no mistakes. That means you just got into it and you got it done. I find that that was a great feeling for me that I got flawless victory, but you know what? I don't know what I did to achieve that. I just did it. Right? So what if we were to take the victories that we have, those that are successful and are able to you know, have more victories probably than some others, what if we were to take those victories that we have and then coming back and we, and, we, and we break down the little parts that we could have made it a little bit easier for ourselves? What could I have improved on in this moment as I was on my way to becoming victorious? What could I improve on in this moment as I was on my way to become victorious? What are some of the little steps I could have done to make it a little bit easier for myself? Maybe it would have been more in my preparation. Maybe it would have been more in my speaking. Maybe it would have been more in my timing. Maybe it would have been more in my my delivery so all these type of things I want to look at so I achieve this level of victory but I don't take that and say okay ah, I'm the bomb I did it I got it done I go back and I think about the steps that I took to get there and how can I improve those steps so I can continue to be successful so today's video guys is about just celebrating our victories um, you want to make sure you take the time to celebrate your victories, the big ones and the small ones. And as the big ones keep coming, you just keep looking at what you got to do to get there and don't stop doing that. Um, again, for any of my parents that are that are watching this video later or watching this video now, if you can just kind of comment in the comment section, just tell us like what your child's experience was for the event, um, how they felt, how you felt watching them. I tell you, the energy in the room was amazing. I loved watching the parents not just cheering on their own kids, but cheering on some of the other kids as well, which was really cool to see. Um, and that's the environment that, that I love seeing. Our our kids and again we're not talking about a team sport we're talking about individuals so parents are shooting for cheering for the individual not just the team itself um, which was really really cool and I, I really appreciate that so again parents if you're watching this later if you could just drop some comments in the comment section just let us know you know what your child's experience was uh, in the competition and even if you have a even if you have a child and you didn't participate in our event but there's something you've seen them do that was an individually based uh, accomplishment Please drop it in. I know my buddy, uh, one of our students, Philip Martin, he had a great weekend this weekend in the science uh, fair, or science competition that he had up at SRC Arena. So, uh, Yvonne, if you're watching this video later, if you could just drop in just a comment on just how how he did, what it was that he did, and if you just tell us like how par martial arts was able to help him with some of those things he had to do individually to be successful. All right, guys. That's my video for today. I hope you guys all got the, the, the volume because the volume was off the last time there, guys. We also have a video on Instagram, too. Uh, if you got a chance to check that out, please do and comment on that. That would be great. Guys, have a great day. I'll see you all soon. Uh, let's have an awesome week. We'll see you on the mat. Happy April. Was that snowing in April? The first day of April? Was this like April Fool's joke on us? All right, guys. Have a good day. See you all soon. Bye now.